this is Render Courses, and in this video, I'll tell you how to speed up Render and Karana by 10 to 15 times, and sometimes even up to 50% without changing the settings. Many experienced visualizers who work with interiors know this feature, and I would like to show you that now. We we'll click Add Ray Switch, and automatically all the materials have joined. No need to do anything else. Hi everybody, this is Render Courses and in this video I'll tell you how to speed up Render and Karana by 10 to 15 times, and sometimes even up to 50% without changing the settings. And also today we're gonna look at one very awesome tool, so let's get started. So before we move on to optimization, we need to sort out a very important aspect. So namely, Reflex Caustics and Corona Render. As you can see, I get a simple scene for a test. And of course, the lighting here is far from being perfect. But it's made intentionally so that you can see one very important effect. So know that the light gets into the interior from the right. And I've got a table with golden mirror surface in the middle of the room. So that's done for reasons in order to demonstrate this effect. On the wall to the left, we see a big orange reflect. This is the light which reflects from the table surface and then shines onto the wall. This is caustic, but not literally, it's a caustic of global lighting. So it's a secondary rebound of light from a mirror surface. And if we open Materials Editor and look at this material, which is in the scene, we'll see that the caustics are disabled here. The caustics is also disabled in the render settings, but Karana still renders it. So this is not the direct caustics, as I've told you. It's caustics of the global light, and this effect may slow down your render quite a bit. Especially when we deal with a scene that features a lot of mirror surfaces, such as a, a shiny reflecting door, a lot of tiles, if it's a bathroom, for example. A lot of glass, chandeliers, crystals, glasses, and so on and so forth. So all this affects the render. But at the same time, if we had the light set correctly in this scene, we would hardly notice the effect of this reflex. So that's not, that's not even a, a cosmetic effect. And you may just abandon it in your streaming fast work with no loss in quality. Many experienced visualizers who work with interiors know this feature, and I would like to show you that now. And so the essence of this feature is very simple. It's not a simple material, but a kind of dummy. So. We can take the Corona Ray Switch material, which will allow us to trick Corona and get rid of this effect. But before we start working with it, let's figure out how Corona Ray Switch works. All right, and so in order to demonstrate this material, I created a very simple scene, and it has a green spiral and several objects around. They were created for a reason, and I'll explain to you why. So, Corona Ray Switch allows you to change some properties of an object. And let's create Corona Ray Switch and assign, assign it to our spiral. There, as you can see, it's gone, because all slots in this material are empty. And we have four slots, directly visible, the one, that's what we see directly in the render. Refraction, that's what we see through refractive objects. Reflection, 
what we see in reflections and global illumination, that's what is reflected from objects. So to see this object, we connect our base material back to direct override and our object appears. But at the same time, it doesn't reflect anywhere and is not refracted. So we can fill all the slots back with this material. So it appears consistently both in reflections and refractions. And we see that the green reflex appears on the next box. And so what if we want to change some properties? Let me create a blue material. And I already have it here for demonstration. So we'll place it, for example, in the refraction slot. And now we see in the box that our spiral is not green, but it's actually blue. So this change happens and that fits us well. Also, we can try to replace it in global illumination. The blue reflex appears on the neighboring object. Right. Let's think about how we can use this in our work. So let's get back to our interior. Now let's have the current state and history so that we could see the difference. I'll go to history and save the current state of the frame buffer. And now let's try to optimize this material through ray switch. Drag and drop Corona ray switch in the material editor and also assign it to the tabletop. Disappeared but then I connected our basic material to direct override because we need to see it in the render. And I also connected to refract and reflect, but I replaced the global illumination slot with a simple gray material, maybe even a dark one. No reflections. That's important. All right, and so what did we get? We still have little reflection because we have a reflect override slot, but the noise effect, there's much less noise right now. Let's see, let's see the difference before and after. Now, of course, in some extreme cases, we can absolutely enable the reflect slot but I believe that this won't be the best option and it will actually result in rendering errors. And we don't want that because your objects won't be reflected at all. Now, you may have a question, like uh, this optimization requires going through all the materials and maybe the game just isn't worth a candle too much manual work, so to speak. But actually no, because we wrote a special script for working with Ray Switch and you can convert all materials to Ray Switch, literally with one click. This script's called RC Ray Switch version 1.82. And you can find the link below this video. It's absolutely free. It's very handy. So let's see how it works. The script allows you to convert material to ray switch with one click. And we can also convert either selected object or all materials on it, or take the material in the material editor, select an object, add ray switch, and there you go. All right, let's see. So I'll create a new tab in the material editor and for example, we would take the material off the table. So this is what it looks like. It's a multi-layered material. And I'll be working in the material editor, so I switch to selection. And we click add ray switch. And automatically, all the materials have joined. No need to do anything else. As you can see, we've added a dummy. And this script allows you to consider the color of the object. Okay, so let's, for example, change the color of this earthenware to a brighter one. 
so that I can show you, that I could show it to you. So I'll create a new material. I'm gonna make it red and assign it to the toilet. Let it also be a reflective material with a zero, with zero roughness. Here it is. Now it takes selection and material editor, click add ray switch, and it automatically creates a ray switch. And that dummy on the global illumination slot is now also red. Why is it important? Because you're, if your objects are bright, then converting them, you should take into account so that the overall shade of your render stays the same. In addition, if your base material has a texture, the script takes that into account as well. Let's see how it works. I will assign material back to our object and add a texture. So for example, let's make this green. And I set it to base color. Now I'm just going to convert it. Add ray switch. And look, the dummy material, which is assigned to global illumination, is now also green. It has the same shade, the average color from the image. This is very convenient and that's correct enough. So the only thing I would like to draw your attention to is that if you convert a mirror, pure mirror, please check this material since this has a completely white reflection with a, a very high IOR value. Ray switch will convert it and put material on your global illumination. It's not very correct and I think that We'll fix this in future versions of the script. Just keep that in mind for now. That's why I have to slightly correct the material and make it diffuse, for example, dark gray. The script can also delete ray switch if an object has it. If this ray switch material is in the material editor, it will not be removed. And it can also recognize materials which are metal and non-metal. In addition, the script works with different Corona material types, Corona physical, MTL, or older Corona legacy material. This script will help you optimize the render speed. In a simple interior, it can be 10%. If it's a bathroom with a lot of reflective objects, your render speed can be optimized somewhere up to 30 maybe even 50%. So like I said, the script is free. The link is in the description. Wish you a nice and quick renders. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.